Hey guys, Jimmy Vegas here, and today we are taking a look at an asset in the Unity Asset Store called Mountain Trees. So for full transparency, um, I have not received any money for this review. I will not receive any money for this review. It's completely independent. However, a review code was provided. So at first glance, it looks absolutely gorgeous. There's no doubt about that. Just looking at the initial image uh, is absolutely Gorgeous. However, what we have to focus on for this particular asset is the trees. See, as we are only looking at the trees. So just keep that in mind. Now, it comes with a pre-built scene, which kind of demonstrates everything that the asset has to offer. So in the scene view, you will see something that looks a little like this. Now, um, don't be disappointed by this at all because you have to remember that some assets are not geared towards absolute beginners in Unity. They are geared more towards people who are learning, people who are ready to learn, people who want to use assets for huge development. So if you are an absolute beginner to Unity, you may find this asset useful to some degree, but maybe not quite as useful once you have a little bit of experience. But hey, that's what this channel is all about, giving you that experience. So the demo scene looks uh, a little something like this, and yes, I know what you're thinking. Well, it doesn't quite look like that. And yeah, I completely get what you're saying, but remember, we are focusing on the trees. There is obviously an amount of post-processing going on here, and I always say, I always say, you guys know if you follow me, post-processing is important. You should always apply your own post-processing. So it is not that difficult to go from something of this quality to something of this quality. So this is the exact same asset package. I'm just in the game view. Quality wise, this is fantastic. These trees are so much better than anything you would more than likely get for free. They are so well constructed, so well detailed, and the same goes for even the trunks, the bark. There are so many variations and that's where the quality of this truly comes in. If I was to press play now and we could see the true quality of what we could create with this asset package. Now, all I have spent about 10 minutes just throwing on some post processing, creating a quick animation, adding a little bit of texture to the terrain down here. That's all I've done with this. That's all I've done. And look how gorgeous this asset can look. I've spent 10 minutes doing this. Can you imagine if you spent double that, treble that, quadruple that? If you spent a couple of hours working on your post processing, just imagine how gorgeous this could look for you. Quantity wise, the asset package has many, many variations. So if I pan around this way, and you can see here, I have focused uh, my efforts on this middle section of trees. And you'll notice all the way on the right, we have some good old snow covered trees. Now this is where that, that isn't represented in this image, for example, this is what the first image you would see. You don't see the fact that there are snow trees within here. So that's where the quantity of this comes in. There is a nice amount within this particular package. Another thing to uh, take note of is in the HD and LW support packs folder. There is a little readme file. So if you do have any problems or anything, you will need, may need to work with the HD render pipeline. Um, but that may not, I haven't in this case, I haven't. And I am pretty sure that if I did, I could make this look even better than it does right now in my game view. But again, that's something that you could do. You don't have to do, but if you, know, if you wanna aim for quality, you can. Um, I add a little bit of water in as well, just to kind of add some, you know, a bit more of an effect um, with, you know, the game view. Uh, so quantity wise, yes, there is quite a lot when it comes to trees. Remember what I said at the beginning of this review? We need to focus on the trees, not the rest of the package, because that's what this package is for, trees. And there is a huge variation on those trees. Now, this animation, I feel, is actually really nice. And I can see this fitting in something if you're making maybe, I don't, I don't know, that's not my mic there, by accident. <laughs> something like um, like a Skyrim clone or, you know, even I guess the Witcher 3 type clone, something like that. These trees are so in variation that you could use them so efficiently in your game. And that is where the versatility comes in. The ability to customize this asset package is, it's great. That there is a lot for you to customize in this package. 
These are some of the models. So obviously you can play around with the textures if you need to, the materials if you need to. I mean, just look at all the different bark types you have there. I know it seems trivial, but if you're making a highly detailed game, having multiple different styles of bark will be useful for you. I, I cannot stress that enough because you don't want to walk past the same, a different shaped tree, but with the same bark constantly. Not every single piece of bark is the same in a forest. And here we are. There's loads to choose from. Obviously, we've got the prefabs. So we've got the standard. And then we can go to the snow here. So, I mean, look at these trees. These trees look absolutely fantastic. So I think what it comes down to with quality in this is you need to be mindful of the style of game you're creating here. Uh, I've added a little bit of fog as well, just for good measure. Um, but if we were to move our camera, let's say um, over this way to the snow trees, again, it's all dependent on how you want to visually represent your game. You don't necessarily have to do it the same way as me. I always like to add my post-processing. I always, well, to be honest, I usually spend more than 10 minutes on post-processing, but I kind of threw it together just to see how quickly I could turn um, what people will consider low quality into what people will consider much better quality. Because I think most people downloading this package may be a bit deterred when they see this and think, oh, well, that's not that picture that's not that but remember it's the trees you could add the rocks in you could add the vegetation in you could add the textures in just concentrate on the trees for this so trees wise i think it's an absolutely gorgeous asset its usefulness is i would say endless because no matter what you're creating you're going to be able to create something absolutely fantastic with these trees i mean just just look at them uh, for me at least i think this looks decent for an indie if you saw this in an indie game made by one person you think that doesn't look half bad obviously there's a difference between indie games and triple a just keep that in mind you can't expect triple a so price wise um I, I remember at the beginning i did say that a review code was provided it's because this asset isn't free the asset is uh of plus and pro is 14 30 euro which is probably about $16, I think, ish. Uh, or standard price is $17.87, which may be about $20. So just keep that in mind. I think for the price, this variation is fantastic. There is a good amount of variation within the package to warrant that price, especially at the quality it is. I don't think you'll find free trees that look as good as these, especially when you apply your own image effects. Uh, Size-wise, it is 673 uh, megabytes, which isn't large, but it, well, I suppose it depends on what connection you're on. For some people, that may be large. For most people in this modern day and age, that probably isn't quite so bad. Uh, but just keep it in mind if you are on a slow connection, you're uh, on a metered connection, anything at all, just, just keep that in mind. So overall, I like this package. And, you know, when we come to things like extras, there aren't a massive amount of extras. What you see is what you get. And to be honest, that is just fine. I, th I think it's just fine because it doesn't try to advertise itself as something it isn't by using this image because there are multiple packs from this creator that you can download to literally recreate this image. It's just all about if you need all of those packages. So think of it as them being split. So as you guys know, I either recommend or don't recommend an asset. I generally don't like to rate them. And to be, to be frank with this package, if you're on a $0 budget, then obviously it's not going to be for you. However, if you do have some budget, whether you personally have a budget, whether your team has a budget, if you're creating any kind of forest, I will recommend this asset absolutely. Created a forest, this asset is going to be vital to your game development. It's only $20. $20 is a small amount of money if you're, let's say, aiming big, aiming for the stars. It's an investment, I see it. So yes, I would absolutely recommend this asset to anybody creating something of a forest. Maybe not quite if you're brand new to Unity. Maybe get a month or two into development assess your situation and then I would recommend it to you. But other than that, yes, I would recommend this asset because I think it looks 
lovely so guys have you used this asset yourself what do you think of this asset is it good you let me know in the comments your thoughts and if you have an asset on the asset store let me know i'd love to check it out and possibly review it and don't forget click subscribe and click the bell icon as well and you can stay up to date with everything i have on this channel about video game development so i've got tons of content like this and teach you how to create games of this quality. Guys, thank you very much for watching.